哈喽，大家好，欢迎来到聚焦雅思课堂。那么今天呢，我们要讲解的是听力部分的第二讲。那么第二讲呢，我们要从场景开始。今天这个场景是租房场景。那么啊，当以后大家到了国外之后呢，都会发现你要去租房子。那么租房子呢，就要去跟房东谈，然后你什么时候入住，你需要啊住什么样的房子，然后呢啊每个。月或每个星期的租金是到底是多少？啊，相关的一些信息都是需要去了解的。所以，我们今天要讲到的是租房场景。来，我们看一下啊，第一个例题啊，这是一个 Cambridge Arts Four Text Three Section One 里面的内容，是啊，我们剑桥四里面的一个内容。我们来看一下，首先 ，Questions One to Ten, Questions One to Four, complete the form below. Write no more than three words and or a number. For each answer, 那么在这里我们要去审题，要注意审题，特别是这样的一个填空题。No more than three words 就是不超过三个单词，并且它后面有一个 and or。那么有两种情况，第一种情况就是不超过三个单词，并且再加上一个数字，或者是只写数字。当然，它这也不是一个数字，是 numbers， 那就是几个数字。OK。那么这是一个呃，从 title 来看是 accommodation request form， 是一个啊、呃、租房这样一个申请表格 request form。那么从一到四题我们可以看到 ，OK， 在这里有什么 length of time in Australia？ 那也就是说啊、呃，这是在澳大利亚啊、呃、租房子的这样一个场景。那么这个 length 是什么意思呢 ？length 是啊、呃、我们租房的一个时间长度。啊，长度。那么这道题目啊，之后我们要去填写它，到底是啊多长？他想要租租多长？接下来看第二个 present address， 注意一下。那么这里出现了一个单词，这个形容词叫做 present。present 什么意思呢 ？present 的意思就是现在的、目前的。那么我们目前的这个住址到底是什么 ？OK， 是 flat one。啊 ，five hundred three nine 就 five three nine， 后面这是一个空哈、啊，这是一个空。那么什么什么 road？ 那么很简单，我们这里一定要去填一个啊，填一个单词，填一个单词啊。再来 ，Canterbury twenty 啊 two o three six OK 二零三六，这是邮编啊，这是邮邮编 postcode。那么第三题 ，present course present course 就是目前的目前的什么？目前的课程是什么样的 English？ OK， 那么我们他，那么我们能够呃清楚的看到，这是一个啊、呃、正在上语言课程的一个学生要要来租房。那么语言课程呢，我们可能会分到很多种类，比如说我们可以看到啊、呃、有一些 basic English， 或者我们说 general English， 还有什么呢？中级，那么比 general 和 basic 更高级一点呢，就是啊、呃、就是我们的啊、呃、intermediate intermediate intermediate English 就是中级英语。那么中级英语除外呢，我们还可以用啊、uh, advanced advanced English。OK， 除除了这种以阶段性的来区分之外，我们还可以有学术型英语 academic English。OK， academic English。所以只要我们在 Part One Section One 里面看到了诶什么什么 English， 而且是一个 course 的话，它大部分情况下都是让你去填这个 level。那么我们刚刚提到几个单词，大家可以记一下啊。第一个是 basic。第二个是 intermediate， 第三个是 advanced， 第四个呢是 general， 第五个就是 ad 呃就是 academic。所以，我们一般来说，雅思听力 section one 里面，只要说到了 English level， 就一般来说会出现在这几个 level 里面去让你挑选、去选择或者是填写。OK， 来看第四题 ，accommodation required from。OK， 是从什么什么时候开始呢？这个住房。第四题。是要填一个什么东西，然后是 seventh September， 是9月7号。那么我们回忆一下，在英文当中，如果要写日期的话，会怎么去写？肯定是写呃月份，然后写日期，或者是日期、月份，然后写年份。那么在这里，这个呃。月份和日期之前所要填的一个空，那究竟会是什么呢？大家想一下，是不是可能会出现的是星期几 ？OK， 所以我们在看到这样的一个情况下 ，OK， 我们能够判断出这个第四空肯定要填星期。那么星期无外乎就是七个啊 ：Sunday、Monday、Tuesday、Wednesday、啊 Thursday、Friday、Saturday， 就从星期天一直到星期六
啊这样的一个啊、呃、七个单词去填写。所以我们下去之后一定要把星期这七个单词好好的去写一遍，而且不能有任何错误。来，我们看下面的一些题目。第二个题型呢是一个选择题，五到七题。那么 choose the correct letter A, B, or C. 第五题 Sarah requires A. 那么 require 就是希望要求。她要求一个什么房间 ？A single room, B twin room, C triple room. 单人间、双人间和三人间。OK， 所以我们等会要去听的时候就要去听这个 Sarah 她喜欢住在怎么样的一个房间当中。下面第啊、呃、六题。呃、uh, ，she would prefer to live with. She would to prefer to live with 就是她希望更倾向于和谁一起住。A. A family. B. Single person. C. Couple. 一大家人，一个人，或者是一对 couple 啊，一对情侣，或者是一对夫妇。第七题 ，She would like to live in a flat house or studio apartment. 那么 flat 呢，就等于 apartment。Apartment 呢，一般是在美语当中经常使用，是公寓；而 flat 呢，就是在我们英式英语当中比较常见。那么 house 呢，就是我们的别墅啊，别墅这样类型的一个房子。Studio apartment 是指的是啊，单人间只有一一间房的这样一个公寓啊，一间房的公寓。Studio apartment。所以我们一会儿来看一下，要听一下，到底 Sarah 喜欢住在哪样的房子里面。来，最后一个题型啊，八到十题，第三个题型说啊 ，write no more than one word for each answer。那么也就是说，在这个填空题里面，它需要你去填到一个单词，一个单词。第八题 ，the 什么 will be 啊 three hundred twenty。那么你要交三百二十块钱，那么这三百二十块钱是一个什么东西？那么我们可以想一下，在你入住之前，你可能会加要交一个。押金，那么押金到底是什么单词呢？等会我们来听一下。第九 ，She needs to pay the rent by cash or check on a 什么什么 basis。那么我们来看一下这个啊、呃，她需要支付她的 rent，rent rent 是指房租 ，by cash 现金或者是 check，check check 是支票 ，on a 什么什么 basis。那么 on 我们之前知道一个词组叫做 on a regular basis， 就是定期的、有规律的。那么其实，在这里我可以给大家提到一些答案词啊，经常会提到的，比如说我们有 daily， 我们还有 weekly， 我们还有 monthly， quarterly， yearly， 也或者是 annually。那么 daily 呢，就是每天的啊，每天的啊 ，weekly 就是每周的，然后我们有 monthly， monthly 就是啊，就是这个每月的，然后我们还有 quarterly， 就是每季度的。然后呢 ，yearly 或者 annually 就是每年的。那么想一下，我们租房子需要以怎么样的一个呃一个阶段去去支付你的房租呢？等会我们来去看呃听一下，然后再来看这里 ，she needs to pay her part of the 什么 bill？OK，、okay? 也就是说她需要去支付一部分的钱，什么钱呢？我们想一下，在房子里面住，我们是不是有水费、电费、气费、网费，还有什么？啊，还有我们的电话费，对吧？我们可以有 electricity bill, gas bill, water bill, inter n e t bill， 或者是 phone bill， 也就是我们的 telephone bill， 或者是等会我们再去听一下它有没有其他的一些种类的 bill。OK， 那么现在呢，我们就一起来听一下这个题目。Cambridge IELTS Four by University of Cambridge ESOL Examinations, published by Cambridge University Press. This recording is copyright. CD two. Test three. You'll hear a number of different recordings, and you'll have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions, and you'll have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played once only. The test is in four sections. At the end of the test, you'll be given ten minutes to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. Now turn to section one. Section one. You will hear a student talking to the accommodation coordinator at her school. First, you have some time to look at questions one to four.
you'll see that there is an example which has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. Sarah, I've heard that you want to move into a homestay family. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. I've been staying with my aunt, and now my cousin is arriving from Singapore, and my aunt needs the room for him. Ah, oh, that's bad luck. Well, I'll need to get some particulars first. Um, Sarah, what's your full name? Sarah Lim, and that's Sarah without the H at the end. Linda asks for Sarah's full name, Sarah Lim, so this has been written in the notes. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions one to four. Sarah, I've heard that you want to move into a homestay family. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. I've been staying with my aunt, and now my cousin is arriving from Singapore, and my aunt needs the room for him. Ah, oh, that's bad luck. Well, I'll need to get some particulars first. Um, Sarah, what's your full name? Sarah Lim. And that's Sarah without the H at the end. Mm -hmm. How old are you, Sarah? 23, only just. It was my birthday on the 21st of August. Oh, happy birthday for yesterday. How long have you been in Australia? A year in Adelaide and six months in Sydney. I prefer Sydney. I've got more friends here. What's your address at your aunt's house? Flat 1, 539 Forest Road, Canterbury. And the postcode is 2036. OK. What are you studying now? I was studying general English in Adelaide, and now I'm doing academic English because I'm trying to get into medicine next year. That sounds good, but it'll take you a long time. When would you like to move out from your aunt's? My cousin arrives on Friday morning, so I'd better be out on Thursday. What, the 7th of September? Yes, that's right. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 5 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 5 to 10. That doesn't leave us much time. Right, OK. I need to know what kind of accommodation you'd like so I can get you something suitable. Can I share a room with someone else? I've been alone in my room at my aunt's and I've always shared with my sister and I like that. Yes, fine. That'll save you money too. <laughs> Would you like to live with a family, or do you think that a single person would be better for you? I have lots of very nice single people on my books. Do you have any women living alone, retired women? Yes. I have quite a few whose children have grown up and left home. In fact, I have some really lovely retired ladies living by themselves who just love the company of students. Most of them live in flats, but that's not a problem for you, is it? Not at all. I'm used to that. My aunt lives in a flat too, remember? Hmm. I'm not used to a big house with a garden, swimming pool, pets and all that. OK, fine. I know quite a bit about what you want now. I should let you know that your rent will be $160 per week. You'll have to pay me $320 as a deposit before you move in. The deposit is as insurance in case you break something. You'll need to pay monthly to me by cash or cheque, I don't mind. You don't need to pay for gas, electricity or water, but you will need to pay your proportion of the phone bill. Most families do that on an honour system, but you'll have to wait and see. Mm. Have you got any more questions for me? Uh, when will you know where I can go? I'll work on it now. 
So come and see me tomorrow and I should have some news for you then. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. After lunch will be better for me. OK. See you then. Bye. That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section 2. OK. 那么我们在听完这道题目之后，我们一起来看一下它到底填哪些单词，并且它里面说所说的话是什么样子的。第一个 ，a year in Adelaide and six months in Sydney。那我们从第一道题能够看到，他问你 length of stay， 就是你所待的长度。原文当中说，在一年在阿德莱德，六六个月在悉尼，也就是说，题目里说 ，a length of stay in Australia， 在澳大利亚要待多久？加起来就是一年半，哈，一年半。所以你可以可以填啊 ，one point five years，one point five years。OK， 接下来第二题，第二题 flat one， five three nine forest road。那么 five three nine 在题目里面已经给到了五三九，什么 road 呢？这里讲到了 forest road， forest road 啊，森林路。第三题，第三题， I was studying general English in Adelaide and now I'm doing academic English because I'm trying to get into medicine next year。那么注意一下，他在这里提到了两个英语，两个阶段的英语，一个是 general English， 一个是 academic English。但是我们从题目来看，它有一个 current course， current course 就是一个现在所学到的这样一个课程。那我们的 general English 是在阿德莱德学的，那么所以现在的这样的一个英语课程呢，肯定就是 academic English。所以这道题目填的是 academic。接下来， my cousin arrives on Friday morning， so I'd better to be out， I'd better be out on Thursday。那么他要什么时候班呢？在这里讲到了，他的 cousin 会这个周五的早上到达。那么到达之前，他是不是肯定要搬出去？所以他说 ，OK， 我最好是在星期四搬。所以 I'll be out on Thursday。这道题目填 Thursday。来第五题 ，Can I share a room with someone else? I've been alone in my room at my aunt's, and I've always shared with my sister, and I like that. Share a room. 那么在这里 ，share a room 就等于一个 twin room。所以这道题目我们要选择 twin room。第六题 ，Yes, fine. Um,、uh, that'll save you money too. Would you like to live with family, or do you think that a single person would be better for you? I have lots of very nice single people on my books. OK， 那么在这道题目里边讲到了，他有呃这个人他是想要去跟一个 single person 住。那么 single person 从题目里面我们能够看到是什么呢？我们能够看到三个选项，第一个是 a family， 第二个是 single person， 第三个是 couple。那么非常清楚，原字原封不动的给你提出来 a single person， 所以我们要选到 a single person。第七题 ，Yes， I have quite a view。Uh, I have quite a few whose children have grown up and left home. In fact, I have some really lovely retired ladies living by themselves who just love the company of students. Most of them live in flats, but that's not a problem for you, is it? Okay. 他有很多这样的选择为这个为 Sarah 提供，而且大部分的这些人呢都是住在 flats 里面，也就说明了这个啊、呃、Sarah 她喜欢住的就是 flat， 所以我们选到 A flat。而我们的 studio apartment 它只是指的一间房的公寓。那么在这个里面呢，原文录音里面并没有提到这个房子是一间房的，它只是说是一个 flat， 所以我们只能选择的呃范围只能 general 一些，所以我们要选择的是 flat。再来 ，OK, fine. I know quite a bit about what you want now. 
I should let you know that your rent will be hundred and sixty dollars per week. You have to pay me three hundred and twenty dollars as a deposit. 那么你看，这里提到了 three hundred and twenty， 三百二十块钱。这里有个 as， as 就是作为，作为一个 deposit， 也就是我们的押金。deposit 是押金的意思。Before you move in， 在你搬进去之前，你需要交三百二十块钱的押金。The deposit is an is as insurance. 那么做一个啊、uh, 保险，万一你碰坏什么东西，我们就可以从押金里面去扣除。In case you break something, 看到没有 ？Break something, you need to pay monthly. 呃、uh, ，pay monthly to me. OK. 那么你要每个月这样来啊、uh, 这样啊、uh, 这样来支付我，所以 monthly to me by cash or check. 两种方式都是可以的。I don't mind. Ah,、uh, you don't need to pay for gas, electricity, or water. So you, 汽水电都不用付。但是 ，but you will need to pay your proportion of the phone bill. 所以你要支付的是 phone bill. 啊，你要支付的是那个呃电话费。Most families, most families do that on an honor system. But you have to wait and see. 那么你接接下来你要去看。怎么样？等一下，怎么样？所以第一道啊、呃，第一个题目并不是特别的困难，只要听到了这个关键词，其实我们的答案就已经出来了。OK， 那么接下来呢，我们要去进入呃例题二的讲解。那么在例题二当中呢，又是一个填空题哈。第一个类型是填空题，让你啊、uh, write no more than three words and all numbers for each answer， 也是一样的题目要求。我们来看一下题目。Host a host family application. 那么也就是说，它是一个住宿家庭的一个啊、呃、这样的一个申请。那么住宿家庭的申请，我们来看一下。第一个 present address。那么你现在住在哪里呢？住在 C View Guest House。那么你要填后面的一个啊、呃、空一个空。那么肯定是一个专有名词，对吧？一个专有名词可能是地点呐、啊、或什么的。Daytime phone number. OK。那么你的白天能够找到你的电话号码是啊、呃、这样一个电话号码。然后那么。M B 呢的意思就是提醒注意，你要注意一下。Best time to contact is 那么最恰当的时间是什么时候呢？要填一下，肯定这里要填的是时间。然后，呃，再来看第三题 ，intended length of stay。那么想要打算居住或者待的这样一个时期，所以你接下来要填一个啊、呃、数字啊，要填一个数字啊，或者是加加上一个一个单词。来第四题 ，general。Level of English. 那么这道题目就说它总的来说它的英语程度是什么？那么我们刚刚所提到的那些单词都是可以用的。再来 ，preferred location. 那么你希望在怎样的一个地点，在这个这个这个住宿家庭啊 ？In the 什么要填一个地方。然后 special diet. 你有没有什么样比较啊、呃、不一样的或者需要注意的一些饮食习惯？所以要填一下。然后。Other requirements. He said, "On facilities, on television, 还有一个什么东西。然后，而且要让这个 host family 要怎么样？你看 ，to be, to be 后面肯定要填一个名词或者是一个形容词。一般说形容词可能居多，哈，形容词居多。来，第九题 ，maximum price。那么这里肯定要填一个数字。第十 ，prefer starting date。那么肯定要填一个啊，年月日，年月日，因为一个 date 嘛 ，date 就是年月日的意思。OK。那么接下来呢，我们要一起来听一下这个啊、呃，这道题目到底是怎么讲的。Test four. You will hear a number of different recordings, and you'll have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions, and you'll have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played once only. The test is in four sections. At the end of the test, you will be given ten minutes to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. Now turn to section one. Section one. You will hear a conversation between a student looking for a host family and a housing advisor. First, you have some time to look at questions one to five.
you will see that there is an example which has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. Good morning. How can I help you? Good morning. Um, I understand you help fix up students with host families. That's right. Are you interested in... Uh... Yes. Well, please sit down and I'll just take a few details. Oh, thank you. Right. Now, what name is it? Jenny Chan. Can you spell that, please? Yes. J-E-N-N-Y C-H-A-N Right. And what is your present address? The student's name is Jenny Chan, so Jenny Chan has been written on the form. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions one to five. Good morning. How can I help you? Good morning. Um... I understand you help fix up students with host families. That's right. Are you interested in... Uh... Yes. Well, please sit down and I'll just take a few details. Oh, thank you. Right. Now, what name is it? Jenny Chan. Can you spell that, please? Yes. J-E-N-N-Y C-H-A-N Right. And what is your present address? Sea View Guest House, 14 Hill Road. Okay. And do you know the phone number there? Yes. I, I have it here. Um, uh, 2237-676. But I'm only there after about 7 p.m. So when would be the best time to catch you? I suppose between 9 and... Let me see... Half past, before I leave for the college. Great. And can I ask you your age? I've just had my 19th birthday. And how long would you want to stay with the host family? I'm planning on staying a year, but at the moment I'm definitely here for four months only. I have to get an extension to my permit. You're working on it? Mm. Fine. And what will be your occupation while you're in the UK? Studying English. And what would you say your level of English is? <laughs> um, good, I think. I'd like to say advanced, but my written work is below the level of my spoken, so I suppose it's intermediate. Mm, certainly your spoken English is advanced. Anyway, which area do you think you would prefer? Um, well, I'm studying right in the centre... But I'd really like to live in the Northwest. That shouldn't be a great problem. We usually have lots of families up there. Uh, and... Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 6 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 6 to 10. And do you have any particular requirements for diet? Well, I'm nearly a vegetarian. Not quite. Shall I say you are? It's probably easier that way. <laughs> that would be best. Anything about your actual room? Uh, I would prefer my own facilities. En suite, is that right? Mm-hmm. And also, if it's possible, a TV. And I'd also like the house to have a real garden, rather than just a yard. Somewhere I could sit and be peaceful. Is that all? Well, I'm really serious about improving my English, so I'd prefer to be the only guest, if that's possible. No other guests. Yes, you get more practice that way. Anyway, obviously, all this is partly dependent on how much you're willing to pay. What did you have in mind? 
I was thinking in terms of about sixty to eighty pounds a week, but I'd go up to a hundred if it was something special. Well, I don't think we'd have any problems finding something for you. Oh, good. And when would you want it for? I'd like to move in approximately two weeks. Let me see. It's the tenth today, so if we go for the Monday, it's the twenty-third of March. Yes. Right. Good. And if I could ask one last question. That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section two. OK， 好的。那么我们刚刚已经听过了这样的一段录音，我们来看一下啊，这道题目它每一个题目答案它是怎么说出来的。第一个 s e a v i e w Guest House Fourteen Hill Road 是非常清楚的，所以把 Hill Road Fourteen 写下来就完全足够了。第二 ，I suppose between nine。And let me see half past. 注意一下，这里有一个 between。那 between 一定有 between and， 也就是说，它最好的 contact 的时间就是一个区间。那么中间来了一个插入语 ，let me see， 就是让我想一下。所以最好的时间是 between nine and half past。那么 half past 肯定是 half past nine。所以你的答案应该是九到九点半。Before I leave for the college， 第九第三题。I'm planning on staying a year. 那么他要住多久？住一年，住一年 a year。所以你写 one year 就 OK 了。注意一下，注意一下哈，写 one year a year 都是可以的，因为前面我们看到他的题目说，题目要求是什么 ？No more than three words， 所以是没有问题的，没有问题的。But at the moment, I'm definitely here for four months only. 但是我现在在这里只待四个月的时间。I have to get an extension to my permit. 那么我的签证肯定要延长，不然的话我没有办法在这里待。第四题 ，I'm good. I think I'd like to say advanced, but my written work is below the level of my spoken. 他说 ，OK， 现在还不错，我的 speaking 呢是很好的，但是呢，我的这个 writing skill 还没有那么好。所以 ，so I suppose it's a、uh, intermediate. 所以呢，我觉得我现在的 English level 是 intermediate， 是中级的英文。再来，下面呃，下面第五题，嗯、um, ，Well, I'm studying right in the center, but I'd really like to live in the northwest. 这里有一个东西 ，in the center， 它可能会给你造成一定的误解，因为题目已经说 in the 什么什么，但是呢，它这里有一个，但是他喜欢，他想要住在哪里 ？Northwest， 他喜欢住在这个东北方，东北方，所以他在找房子的时候，肯定要找一个在东北方的一个房子。在第六题 ，Well, I'm nearly a vegetarian, not quite. 那么他的 special diet 就是一个素食主义者。那么 nearly 几乎是一个 vegetarian， 所以这个单词一定要记下来，素食主义者。第七题 ，I would prefer my own facilities. Ah,、uh, and suit. Is that right? And also, if it's possible, a TV. And I'd also like to the house, like the house to have a real garden rather than just a yard. 那么注意一下，这里提到了一个 real garden 和一个 yard。那么 yard 和 garden 可能是有一定区别的，在这个呃 Sarah 的眼中。所以呢，他需要的是一个 real garden rather than 的意思是而不是，而不是一个 yard。所以我们要填的单词就是 garden， garden。啊，再来 ，someone I could sit and be peaceful， 就是我在那里可以去啊，去坐一下呀，休息一下什么的。第八题 ，Well, I'm really serious about improving my English, so I'd prefer to be the only guest if that's possible. The only guest 就意意思就是他是唯一一个住在那里的人，因为他想提高英语，所以他可以尽可能的与这个 host family 的成员进行交流。所以我们这里提到了 the only guest。
。第九 ，I was thinking in terms of about sixty to eighty pounds a week, but I'd go up to a hundred if it was something special. 他在想的这个房租是多少呢？是六十到八十。但是这里说了 ，but I'd go up to， 但是我可以把它上升到一百块，一百块。如果这一他的房子有一些特别的地方，所以我的最高的是这个啊一百块。所以题目里面不是讲的吗 ？Maximum price，maximum price 并不是六十到八十，因为他提到一百，所以最高是一百块。第十 ，Let me see，it's the tenth today。So if we go for the Monday, it's the twenty-third of March. 那么他接下来说，那么他什么时候搬进去呢？说我们来看一下啊，今天是十号。如果我们要星期一进去的话，那就是啊 ，twenty-third of March 是呃 March twenty-third， 也就是我们的这个三月二十三号。那么在这里呢，我们就可以填 twenty-third of March. Twenty-third March 就足够了。OK， 这就是这道题，也是非常简单的，主要是要把关键词把握住。其实，在听的时候是没有什么太大问题的。那么接下来呢，我们要去看一下例题三。那么例题三呢，又是一个填空题。同样的，他说啊 ，write one word and or a number。注意，这是 one word， 只填一个单词。题目其实非常的简单。第一个，他让你要填名字啊 ，no 什么什么，也就是说这道题里面他的名被给出了，但是姓没有改。那么一般来说，不太难的姓的话，会让你自己去写。但如果一旦不常见 ，if if it is not common， the the speaker will spell it out for you， 他会帮你把它拼写出来。那也就是你去听写它的呃字母了，就听写字母了。Date of birth。Date of birth 就是我们的这个出生年月日，出生年月日，那么你可能要填年月日，或者是没有年，只填月份和日期。第三个 course of study， 那也就是说他学习的是什么课程啊？什么课程？这就是一个专业名词。再来 number of years planned in whole， 注意一下，这里有一个单词叫做 number of years， 也就是说这个 year 单位已经给到了，所以你只用填数字。这要和我们前面的相区别，前面是说的是 length of stay， 那并没有说是一一天、两天、三天、一周、两周、三周、一个月，还是一年，还是半年，他没有说，所以你要把单位给他拿出来。但是在这里他已经提到了 years， 所以在这里一定是数字，一定是数字，而且它是 years， 那也就是说不仅仅是在一年，肯定是从 1.5 或者是啊、呃、两年开始的。第五题。Special dietary requirement 就是说有特别的那些饮食要求。那么 red 它没有红色的什么东西，记住这是 no， 没有红颜色的什么东西。Prefer a prefer the room type， 它需要一个什么样的房间呢？就是说 a single 什么，那么肯定是一个房屋的类型，房屋的类型，比如说 apartment， 啊、uh, a house or etc 等等等等。第七 interest， 注意一下。这个有个 badminton 是什么？是羽毛球。那么与之相对等的，它一定会提到另外一个兴趣和 badminton 相并列。第八题 priorities in choice of hall。OK， priority 的意思就是啊、呃，就是啊、呃，我们可以说为啊、呃，就是优先优先的意思。那么优先的选择呢？那么说 to be with the other students who are。注意这是一个定语从句 ，who are 什么什么呀？肯定后面是一个定呃是一个啊、呃、形容词。那么反过来，其实这个 who are 是不要的，可以不要，把这个形容词加在这个 students 前面就 OK 了。比如说 to be with other students who are beautiful 就等于 be to be with other beautiful students。所以这里你只用去填一个形容词。那么这里是用定语从句。所写出来的，那么在原文当中很有可能就直接是形容词加名词了。第十题，第十题 ，to live outside the 什么什么，那么他要住在哪里？住在某一个地方的外面，所以你要去听这个地方。第十 ，have a 什么什么 area， 那么你要比如说什么 entertainment area 等等等等，那么肯定是一个区域，比如说做饭区域、玩耍区域，还是看电视区域等等其他不同的东西，所以这里要填一个名词。啊，名词。那么接下来呢，我们就要一起来听一下这个部分。Test two. You will hear a number of different recordings, and you will have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions, and you will have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played once only. The test is in four sections. 
At the end of the test, you will be given 10 minutes to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. Now turn to section 1. Section 1. You will hear a student talking to the student accommodation officer at a college. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 5. You will see that there is an example that has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. Good morning. Can I help you? Yes. I've just been accepted on a course at the university, and I'd like to try and arrange accommodation in the Hall of Residence. Yes, certainly. Uh, please sit down. What I'll do is fill in a form with you to find out a little more about your preferences and so forth. Thank you. The student wishes to arrange accommodation in a hall of residence. So, hall has been written in the space. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 5. Good morning. Can I help you? Yes. I've just been accepted on a course at the university and I'd like to try and arrange accommodation in the Hall of Residence. Yes, certainly. Uh, please sit down. What I'll do is fill in a form with you to find out a little more about your preferences and so forth. Thank you. So, first of all, um, can I take your name? It's Anu Bhatt. Could you spell your name, please? Yes. A-N-U-B-H-A-T-T. -T. Thanks. And could I ask your date of birth? The 31st of March, 1972. Thank you. And where are you from? India. Oh, right. And um, what will you be studying? I'm doing a course in nursing. Right. Thank you. And how long would you want to stay in hall, do you think? Well, it'll take three years, but I'd only like to stay in Hall for two. I'd like to think about living outside for the third year. Fine. And what did you have in mind for catering? Do you want to cook for yourself or have all your meals provided? That's full board. Is there something in between? Yes. You can just have evening meal provided, which is half board. That's what I'd prefer. Yes, a lot of students uh, opt for that. Now, with that in mind, do you have any special diet, anything we should know about? Yes, I don't take red meat. No red meat. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 6 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 6 to 10. Now, thinking about the room itself, we have a number of options. Uh, you can have a single study bedroom or you can have a shared one. These are both what we call simple rooms. The other alternative is to opt for a single bedsit, which actually has more space and better facilities. Uh, there's about £20 a week difference between them. Well... Actually, my grant is quite generous, and I think the bed seat sounds the best option. Lovely. I'll put you down for that, and we'll see what availability is like. Now, can I ask some other personal details which we like to have on record? Yes, of course. I wonder if you could let us know what your interests are. 
This might help us get a closer match for placing you in a particular hall. Um, well, I love the theatre. Right. And I enjoy sports, particularly badminton. Ah, that's worth knowing. Now, what we finish with on the form is really a list from you of what your priorities are in choosing a hall. And we'll do our best to take these into account. Well, the first thing is I'd prefer a hall where there are other mature students, if possible. Yes, we do have halls which tend to cater for slightly older students. Mm. Uh, and I'd prefer to be out of town. That's actually very good for you because we tend to have more vacancies in out-of-town halls. Uh, lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anything else? Well, I would like somewhere with a shared area, a, a TV room, for example, or, or something like that. It's a good way to socialise. It certainly is. That's it. Now, we just need a contact telephone number for you. Oh, uh, sure, I'll just find it. Um, it's uh, double six seven five four nine. Great. So we'll be in contact with you as soon as possible. That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section 2. OK, 那么在听完之后，我们一起来看一下它的答案。那么第一道题很简单，它非常啊、呃、清晰的把这道题目给你拼写出来了，因为它后面是两个 T， 所以说是 double T。如果是三个的话，就是 triple。这个在我们第一讲里面已经讲到过。第二，它是填的 thirty first of March, nineteen seventy two。是这样念的，但是注意一下，我们这里有一个要求 ，no more than one word and a number。那么如果你这样去填的话，那就有两个数字了，怎么办呢？我们这里要去填的就是三十一点零三点一九七二，这样的话就把这个答案看作一个数字，看作一个数字。第三题。I'm doing a course in nursing. A course in nursing， 也就是说，呃，它的这个课程是护理专业。第四题 ，Well, it'll、uh, it'll take three years, but I'd only like to stay in the hall for two. 那么本来这个课程是三年，但是他只需要在这里个这个 hall 里面住两年。然后呢，他想要住在外面一年，所以 for the third year 就是。第三年，他想要住在外面，所以他一共要在这个 hall 里面待两年。所以你在答案的时候只用填 two 就 OK 了 ，two 就 OK 了。第五 ，Yes, I don't take the red meat。注意，刚刚是填了一个什么什么 red， 那么你在这里只用填 meat 就好了，因为 red 它打括号放在后面了。第六题 ，Well, actually my ground is quite generous, and I think the best seat sounds the best option. 那么他最想喜欢的、最需要住的就是一个 best seat。这个 best seat 什么意思呢？ best seat 就是 studio 单间配套，就和我们刚刚所说的 studio apartment 是一模一样的。所以注意哈， best seat， best seat。那么对于兴趣来说，他说 I love the theater。那么虽然感觉有点奇怪，但是他确确实实提到了 theater， 所以我们就只用去填 theater 就 OK 了。它和 badminton 是相相互并列的这样的一个兴趣。第八题。第八题说 ，I'd prefer a hall where there are other mature students. 注意一下 ，the other mature students 就等于我们刚刚的 other students who are mature. 所以这道题填到 mature 成熟的。第九 ，Um and I'd prefer to be out of town. 那么刚刚已经讲到了。Out of the 什么 town 就 OK 了，在这个城里面，他想住在郊外，想住在郊外。第十 ，Well, I'd like somewhere with a shared area. 注意一下，这是原封不动的，原封不动的是一个互相互交流的、共享的这样一个区域。A TV room, for example. 那么 TV room 是一个例子，所以它不能作为代表。所以这道题目要填一个 shared area， 就是。共享的，被大家一起享用的这样的一个区域 ，or something like that， 
或者是像那样的一个一个一个地方。It's a good way to socialize. Because this way is more than able to help you to socialize, help you to improve your English. Okay, so this is our third point. If you listen to it, you will find it is very simple. If you have the right words, when we 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 have the right